Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have already discussed about that things with you, how can add another component to your mother component. That means here there is our root component as a app view. So here how can load another component in particular that position and here we successfully did that work, right? So now in this video, I want to discuss about the another things like here I defined some of the CSS, right? If you go our neighbor into this component area, I load that component and also here I display it. So now if you go to that neighbor into the neighbor for here, you can say I define one of the neighbor and for this neighbor, I define some of the class. So here I define some of the style sheet for a specific this one as a neighbor, neighbor, UL and there is a painting. So here I miss the colon. Okay, I just miss the semicolon and also I define another class as a nav li. So here I define some of the specific styles for a specific this neighbor, right? But if you now copy it, like I just copy that neighbor, go to our main root, that means a root component and that is our neighbor and after this neighbor here, I just simply paste it. Okay, now if you click on the save all and now if you go to your project directory, now you can see our another neighbor is perfectly visible. Like that is our first part that means here I load dynamically our another neighbor page so that is our neighbor page I just define that things with this neighbor right so that is the another one static data I just simply define better I just remove it I just remove it and now if you click on the save all and now here if you refresh it now you can see it's automatically gone from here so there have the two neighbor one is the our main neighbor that is a component I just loaded on here and that is our static data that I added in our root component area, right? So it's now comes from here. But here one thing, for this neighbor, I didn't define any style. If you go here, you can see that I didn't define any style. But this style is also getting our another neighbor style and also it's the same style. So there have some of the conflict like some of the time you may some of the use some of the style specific for a specific this page. So some of the time you may want to do this work like if you create any component page and for the specific component page if you, you can use some of the specific style sheet. But if you call it with the another page like here I call it the different page into the different page here you can see automatically Vue is getting that same CSS. Okay, so you have to prevent it. So if you want to prevent it, then you can do that work with using the scope. Like if you go to that neighbor into the neighbor, that is our style and into the style here, I want to only use that our this CSS for a specific this space. Okay, if you want to use a specific this style for this space, that means the neighbor page, then you can uh, protect it with the scope. So here you have to write down as a scope S C O P E D. Okay, so here you have to mark that things with this scope. So now if you click on the save all, I just click on the save all and now here if you go here and now if you refresh, yes, you can see now this CSS is getting it. So this CSS actually I define in our neighbor area and for the neighbor, I just display that neighbor, right? So perfectly is getting that CSS, a specific this CSS and here I define that our static data in our root directory. That means that is our root directory. I just define that neighbor. So now this CSS is missing. Okay, so you can see now this CSS is missing for the reasons it's now showing that like that way. So now our neighbor CSS is missing for a specific this one. So now it's perfect. So now friend, I think you can well understand about it. If you want to create some of the specific CSS for a specific some of the page, then you can protect this style sheet with this scope. Okay, so that is our scope CSS. So with this, you can actually protect it. In our next video, I want to discuss about the props. So how can working with the props in our next video, I will show you that things with the live example. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.